So in this video, we're going to look deeper into the arranger view for our multi-track recorder on the Deluge. We're going to go over one way to build song sections. There's other methods to build your songs up, but I'm just going to cover those other ones in another video. So we're going to start off making a drum loop. Now, this was from the template from the last video, so it was set to a kit. So what I did actually, I'm making this trigger my Novation circuit. That's actually going through the mixer. The mixer is going into the line in. So what's going to happen is if I keep recording audio coming from the mixer, it's also going to keep recording the drums because this is using MIDI. So what I want to do is just record a drum loop in here. So we're going to hold down record. We're going to activate or arm this row and then we're just going to record. Okay. So I just recorded enough in there. Now let's give it a look. Now, as you can hear, we're hearing two drums here. We're hearing the audio track and the MIDI. So we're just gonna mute the MIDI for now so we don't hear anything. That's good. Now what I wanna do is I wanna be able to copy this in different instances wherever I want because that's a white instance. That means it's completely unique and it can't be copied. So if I want to make it able to be copied, hold it down, press song. What that did was it assigned it to the blue section. So we're going to go back to arranger view because we're looking at song view. Back to arranger, it's blinking. So now we have a blue one right here. So I can actually add a couple of these. So let's play. As we can see, it's just playing through. We don't hear any gaps, nothing. It's perfect. So now what we're going to do is switch over to the next track. I'm just going to record some synth. I'm going to use a Korg Prolog and record some chords. Okay, so that's done. Let's just trim off the end here. So I'm just going to go in to the track. We're going to zoom out and I'm just going to take this. We're going to press at the end of this wave. So we're able to trim it down to right here. Now we're going to press it again and it takes away the trim. Unfortunately, we can't trim from the beginning in this current firmware. Back to arranger view. Let's just check it. Yep, we trimmed it properly. And we're just going to hold down on this instance and send it to song and then go back to arranger. And now we can see it's all recorded. Okay. So that's what we have so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to the MIDI here and we're just going to maybe change the beat a little bit. And now we're just going to go back up here. We're going to arm the drum track that we have and we're just going to record that into here from the MIDI. Make sure it's unmuted. Okay, so that's good. So I'm just gonna hold it down, send it to song. Now we can see it made it into a pink section. We don't have to even worry about song view. We're gonna go right back to arranger and there it is. And now what I wanna do is unarm that track and arm the one under it. And then we're gonna play different chords this time. So we have to make sure that we mute that MIDI track now we're going to start recording. Okay, so it looks like we want to trim this down a little bit. So we're just going to go in right here at the end of the waveform, bring it in a one. And now, there we are, it's all set up. I'm gonna hold this down, press song, and then song again, and now we can see that we have 
the two different sections. Now what I can do, let's say I want this over here. So you just hold it down. It's kind of almost like a paintbrush. If I wanted the pink, I just hold it down there. Now we're pink. Or I can hold down a pad and then we can turn with a knob to select between the white instance, blue, or pink. So we can keep going from here. Let's say I want this to go back to the blue section. So we're just doing that. And maybe I want to have the pink section. And then I just want the blue drums here. And then I'll just record some other chords here. So we're making sure that that's armed and it is. So here we go. We're going to repeat the same thing. We're going to go into here. We're going to trim that down. Go back to Arranger. Hold it down. Press Song. And we're going to go right back in. And now we have a new section. Let's say we wanted to insert something somewhere. So you imagine this is the cursor on this side. What you want to do is move it to where you want to insert something. So I'm just going to insert something here. So I'm going to hold down Shift. And we're going to turn the left right knob. And we just shifted that four times. So I'm just going to put in some drums here. And then we're just going to make sure this track is armed. And then we're just going to record from here. And I'm just going to play a couple notes. So what that did was it recorded that section here. I'm going to hold that down, press song, and now that's a new section. So maybe we want to have the drums off for that part so we can listen and see what happens. So we're going to hold down left right knob, press play, 